Good morning, folks, and welcome to another Glen Maney Talk Chelsea. Thanks for watching. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be absolutely brilliant. It'd be really appreciated. Um, so, yes, Chelsea 4, Sheffield United 1. Now, before you say it, I know what other supporters are saying. Sheffield United aren't the team they were last year. And that's true. And they, they had injuries as well yesterday. But, but you can only beat what you've got in front of you. And I thought Chelsea were absolutely excellent yesterday. Absolutely excellent. Um, I, 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 I don't go on social media after the game. Um, not even to see what my fellow Chelsea echo um, authors um, are saying. Because I don't just read that. I read everything. Um Facebook, Twitter, whatever. And there were people yesterday still criticising. There was a guy having a go at Kovacic. Um, Kovacic, who hasn't played many minutes at all, and um, and who, who set up who set up Tammy's goal brilliantly. I thought Kovacic, for a man that's hardly played this season, put a shift in while he was on. And uh, yeah, he's get he was getting he was getting slagged. I reckon some of these people were like. Um, do you remember uh, what was it corporate corporal fraser from um from dad's army are we doomed <laughs> i think some of these people must go through life like that is your cup half empty or half full i don't think some of these people even think they got cups you know um little african guy on uh, one of the facebook groups still saying that frank lampard's not up to it and i thought he's just on a wind up well I'll, I'll have a look uh, but he but he wasn't um at least with him, you could say he's been standing in the sun too long. Whereas, uh, whereas the other guy with Kovacic, who apparently one of his mates came on, said, "Oh, he's, a, he's Chelsea through and through." Oh. Yeah, he's good, certainly a good supporter. I know that. Anyway, I'm not going to get negative because after yesterday's performance, how can you? Um, we started off with a four-three-three. With a very flex, very flexible four three three. But if you've got a, if you didn't see the game, and, I, and I've got to describe it to you, that that's basically how we started off with Mendy in goal, um, Reese James on the the right, on the left we had Ben Chilwell, in the middle um, we had Thiago Silva and uh, and Zuma, um, the other way around, um, Zuma and Thiago Silva. In midfield, a rare run out this season for Kovacic, Mateo Kovacic, and um, just behind him we had little Nigolo Kante, and then we had Mason Mount just sitting behind Werner on the left, Ziyech on the right, and Tammy Abraham up front, and we went a goal behind. We went a goal behind. A couple of our players turned off. They were given a a free kick and Ziyech and Nagolo they they run back facing goal which as anyone knows is played at the park you should never do you should retreat from the ball still looking at it in case there's a quick a quick free kick taken and there was and there was and that was my probably my one gripe of the the day them not being professional like that but in their favor the goalkeeper was calling to them they were looking around and running back i don't i don't know it, it it was a it was an error but you know at the end of the day it's a response that i was overwhelmed with after last season um the way we came back at them so anyway we've let a goal in mendy didn't have any chance basically uh, a little bit of interplay where the guy puts it in from what five yards out Seven yards out, maybe. I can't remember if he's just inside the six-yard box or not. Anyway, we go a goal behind. And last season, I think you'll probably agree, we would have probably folded then. Ended up losing 3-0 or something. But no, we came back like the very above-average team we've already become. Very good team we've already become. Um, and uh, a nice little bit of play. ZH yesterday, first half... I'll be honest, Mason Mount was my man of the match. He got through so much work and three or four 50, 60 yard balls straight on the button. And I don't think we give that lad enough uh, 
enough credit. He gets so much hate on social media and he's got so much to his game. So, yeah, the first half of the match was, was Mount um, just edging Ziyech because Ziyech, we saw just how good his left peg was yesterday. He um, it's right on the button, right on the button. Now, Ziyech puts a ball forward, um, an excellent ball forward to Kovacic, who runs, pushes it in, and Tammy, um, who worked hard yesterday, he sort of shins a ball. He goes to kick. He goes to to kick. It hits his shin, I think it was, or he scut. No, it could have been his foot, but he scuffs it. The ball goes down and up and over the defender and over the keeper. And uh, best scuff Tammy will ever had. We're back to uh, we're back to one one. So anyway, Ziyech then uh, puts a marvelous marvelous ball in. And um, from what, 40 yards? 40 yards, maybe. Goalkeeper should have done better, but there you go. That's not that's not um, anything we've got control over. And Chilwell is at the back post to uh, to put it in. That, that, by the way, after after Werner, it's a crossbar from an almost impossible angle when he's falling backwards. I thought that was a great uh, attempt uh, just before the, the Chilwell goal. But yeah, um, sorry, Chilwell, he, um, Chilwell basically is in the back post, right place, right time, he hits him and goes in. So 2-1 up. Third goal, um, Thiago Silva's first, uh, first Premier League goal and uh, reminded me of the old John Terry, um, Ricardo Carvalho days because Carvalho used to block, basically, stand stand his ground, stand in the way of someone and Terry used to come in and head and Zuma did the block yesterday um, and in came Thiago Silva and with a lovely, lovely header and uh, they weren't going to be stopped and it was 3-1 and uh, finally little man Werner who'd put a proper shift in all day and been a real nuisance to him and had had that, that chance that, that hit the, uh, the crossbar he uh, he got his goal. Um, lovely finish. Their mistake. Their mistake. Um, I think he kicked it against one of our players. Could have been passed back. Can't remember now. But it went back over the uh, back over their defence, and um, it was a straight race. Then Werner um, could have passed Tammy Abraham. That weren't going to happen, was it? Uh, Werner in front of the goal, and uh, he finished it off nicely. So, so 4-1. Defensively, we looked uh, pretty good. Mendy had probably his shakiest game, but that's because when I look back at it, he was being fouled. Uh, the, the ball came across, and he came for it, but totally missed it. And um, and I thought, well, that's not like Mendy. But when I look at it again, he was uh, he was obstructed. So it, questionable whether if something had led to that VAR would have was stepped in mind you it's Chelsea isn't it no it wouldn't but yeah he was being uh, impeded and um, and uh, he, he had a shot that he held second time um, defensively we were very good though Rhys James had another good game one one thing in the 90th minute where he, he should have passed or or should have just Got, tried to go down the line, but he didn't. He um, he tried to take the man on and lost it. But I thought, you know what? Four one up. He's going to learn from that. Because I've noticed with Reese James, he does learn when he makes these mistakes. But other than that, he was excellent. And that's really an appraisal of the game. Um, so too good for Sheffield United all round. Wanted the ball, pressed high, won the ball back. Little Nagolo Kante playing as a six is just a different player. And we're a different team when he's playing there. Proper little um, Makaleli performance, uh, you know, until Jorginho come on. And, uh, yeah, so uh, let's score the team. Because I always get moaned at for not scoring the team. I'm going to give Mendy a 7.5. Already explained um, that... Uh, not quite as um, dominant. He didn't have much to do, to be fair. 
didn't have much to do, but 7.5, maybe I'm being unfair. Uh, Reese James, I'm giving an 8. Uh, ben Chilwell, I'm giving an 8.5 because he scored. Um, he scored and uh, a decent, a really decent effort, a really decent shot as well. But he put a shift in, same as Reese James did, but because of the goal, 8.5. In the middle, Zuma gets an 8 1. Everything in the air. Can't remember him putting a foot wrong. Maybe there was one slight mistake in there, but I can't. Didn't stick him in mind, wasn't major. Looks a totally different player with Thiago Silva next to him. Totally different player. And then, of course, there was the mercurial uh, Thiago Silva, who gets a 9 from me. He scored, but his overall performance, he was just so assured, so calm. And that, that reflected on everyone else uh, around him. Um, yeah. Little Kante, Little Kante gets an eight and a half from me. What a shift, what a shift. And uh, I can't believe that there's people thinking of selling that lad in the, in the summer. Who would you replace him with? Who would you replace him with? You know, don't say Declan Rice to me. Um, who I rate, I rate Declan Rice. I know he's only 21, but if you are thinking that, in those terms, watch that game again yesterday. Not the highlights, watch the actual game and just watch Kante. Just watch Kante. Unbelievable work rate. An unbelievable success rate too. Kovacic, not played many games. Obviously, wasn't flavour of the month with some of my mates on social media. But if you're not played any games, it's like going to work with three months off. It takes you a little while to acclimatise again. If you're working with a computer system or whatever, same with football, same with football. And um, when you've got a load of new teammates around you, again, although you've been training with them, it takes you a little while. You're not totally match fit. <clears throat> I thought he'd done very well and he gets an eight from me. So well done, Kovacic, and uh, good to see you back. I don't know how long that will be for or how many games you're going to get, but uh, always puts a shift in. Um, always puts a shift and set up that Tammy Abraham goal. So he gets a, an eight. Little Mount. Little Mount, who was my first half man of match. Little Mount, not that little. But um, <laughs> I suppose he's got an, an academy player. I think of him as, uh, as one of our kids, you know. But Mount, he gets a nine from me. Uh, really for his first half performance. Didn't Done well in the second half. Put a shift in, but his first half. Everything you could want from a midfield player, um, apart from a goal. So he gets a nine from me. Werner, Werner gets a nine. Massive shift, well taken goal, brilliant effort, falling backwards where he hit the crossbar. We had no right to really, and um, the little man puts a shift in. Really puts a shift in. He gets a nine from me. Tammy. Again, put a shift in, back defensively, got his goal. You know, I feel unfair at times. I pick his game apart, but I could do it again about yesterday. But I'm not going to, you know, because he put a shift in and he scored. And what more can you ask from your centre forward? So I'm going to give him an eight. I'm going to give him an eight. So well done, Tammy. Keep proving me wrong and keep improving, you know. Um, yeah, I like the lad. He he does put a shift in, even if he doesn't make the runs that I would would want him to. And we come finally to Hakim Ziyech, who is my man of the match, and who I'm giving a a nine point five, a nine point five, particularly in that second half, but also in the first half. What a shift he puts in. If you're watching Kante. Watch Ziyech getting back to make tackles. And there was me worried about losing William. And I was. And those that, that used to get on my case, I, I'd still stick by my my um, reasoning when I was disappointed we lost William because he'd get back. But Ziyech, Ziyech, crikey. You've got William, you know, times 10, ain't not you? Um, 
Massive defensive display from Ziyech yesterday, but going forward, some of the balls, you know, the assists for the goals, some of the balls he put across that didn't didn't result in a goal. He was just unplayable yesterday, unplayable. What a player. And for those who were criticising Ziyech a couple of games ago, oh, he's rubbish, what a waste of money. Have another look, and uh, you should, you should apologise to yourself. You should apologise to yourself as well as those others that you burdened with your view. Takes time, takes match fitness, takes getting to know your team. And I, I, th- I thought it, I thought it would be after Christmas before these guys started really clicking. But yesterday, crikey, if that's him just starting to click, wait till you see the the big click once he's at home and once he's firing all cylinders because that was that was brilliant. So that's me. I'm not going to go on and on and on. I think I've covered everything. I think I've covered the idiots on social media who are genuine supporters. I think I've covered the um, the game and I think I've scored everyone. So there shouldn't be too many moans coming my way. Anyway, folks, international break now. I'm not even bothered about England anymore. I know, I know it sounds terrible, doesn't it? I used to go every game. Not even bothered. I'm just thinking, oh. Let's just let's just get Newcastle away on the on the telly, can we? Or uh, or hopefully soon, let's just get to a game again. Anyway, onwards and upwards. I'm not going to be a Corporal Fraser, so uh, have a good international break, folks. I might have a couple of little videos. People have asked me. I've done a um, an article for the uh, Chelsea Echo about Nagolo Kant here. Yeah, I might do a little video on him. Anyway, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Please like it. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, really is appreciated. And uh, see you soon. Up to Chelsea.